Hello everybody, this is part 2 of Rhino basic tutorial pertaining to its operation and interface. Okay, let's start. Okay, now I want to talk about the selection methods of objects. Okay, I want to do a border selection. Okay, you notice that uh, by clicking and dragging the cursor, I'm able to select the rectangular block. Okay, let me repeat the, the process again. Okay, you notice that when I'm doing it the second time round, I'm not only selecting the block, I'm selecting the sphere as well. Why is this so? Okay. This is because um, there is a peculiar characteristic of um, right right now that needs to be uh, highlighted. That is that if you were to do a border selection with the cursor movement going from the left to the right, whatever that is fully enclosed by the border will be selected. Okay. However, if you were to do the border selection with the cursor movement moving from the right to the left, whatever that is are fully enclosed plus is in contact with the dash line of the border will be selected. Okay, so this is a very uh, important aspect to be aware of when doing our selection. Okay. Okay, if you want to like uh, <clears throat> do multiple selection, you can press and hold the shift key. For example, now I'm pressing and holding a shift key and I want to select the sphere. So I can click on the sphere to add it to the selection group. Okay. And to remove an object from the selection group, you can press and hold the control key and pick on the object. Okay, yeah. So uh, it's following a uh, standard convention, so it's fairly easy to understand. Okay, now I want to move on to uh, talking about the object snap. Okay, the object snap is uh, this, this thing over here. Okay, basically, you can display it by clicking on this uh, off snap uh, label below okay so what is it about okay, let me let me give you a <clears throat> example to illustrate its purpose <clears throat> okay assuming that I've drawn a curve and I want to draw another curve where where the ends meet okay so I'm going to estimate the location of the other curve, okay? Okay, appears that these two ends are meeting, but let's zoom in. You'll notice that if you zoom close enough, you know, you will see that the two ends are indeed not touching. If you are designing things um, for visual purposes, uh, this might be fine, but however, if your form will eventually need to be manufactured or fabricated, this is definitely uh, not good enough. Okay, to have uh, objects and design that can be manufactured, there cannot be uh, any gaps whatsoever. So, in order to resolve this problem, we need to use the object snap. Okay, in our case here, we need to use the object and snap. So, I'm going to click on the end snap mode and <coughs> draw the curve again you notice when I hover close to the end of this curve the end indicator appears signaling to me that the cursor has indeed uh, snapped to the end of this uh, object so if I can continue to build my second curve okay and if I were to zoom close you'll notice that the two curves are indeed touching at the ends. 
okay so this is a way to ensure that whatever we model is uh, accurate and snap to its uh, desired location okay so let us uh, look at some of the common object snaps that that might be used okay we have talked about the end snap so let's talk about the near okay so near means uh, if I move close to uh, the objects are uh, edge or a curve it will be snapped to along it okay okay and an important one to talk about is the mid okay okay by, by the way let's say you just want to select um, one of the snap mode but you do not want to uh, have the others activated you can hover over the snap mode and do a right mouse click instead you will notice that the other modes will be removed so this is one way to like uh, deactivate the other modes and select uh, highlighting only the, the mode that, that you want okay the object snap mode so I'm going to demonstrate the mid okay so mid will actually find the the middle point of a curve or an edge okay yeah so this is the mid okay next i'll talk about uh the center okay so maybe i will just move this okay c and stand for center center is uh, useful for finding the center of uh geometrical stuff such as uh circle or square okay so let's say i want to draw another uh circle that is uh, sharing the same center as this i can select the center and click on the circle with the center mode and then you hover close to the edge of the curve and you notice that uh, the word center appears and you can click down and be able to draw the, the other circle and this second circle will share the same center as the, the first one okay so this is center okay okay the next uh intersect mode that i want to talk about is the other mode that i want to talk about is the intersect okay so um, let's click on intersect Intersect basically will find the intersection point of of our curves. Okay, so I say I'll draw a circle using the center radius method. If I hover close to the intersection of these two, the intersect mode will be activated, and I'm able to draw a circle with the center being the intersection point of these two curves. Okay. Okay, now I want to talk about the layering system. Okay, you can turn on the Rhinos layers by uh, clicking on this icon. You'll be able to see the, the layers that uh, has already been created. To create new layer, you can click on this new layer. To delete, you can use this. Okay. Okay. Layers is best um, used in tandem with the object properties to organize the object within the scene. Okay. Let me give you an example. Okay. Assuming that I want to put this object into layer 2. So what I can do is I select this object. Okay, then make sure that the object properties is uh, being displayed. Then go to the first uh, tab, the object tab, and you can go to the, the layer op layer uh, option to change the object to a different layer. So let's say I want to put it into layer 2. Okay, so you can see the object is now in layer 2, and because 
the display color is set to by layer it is actually um, being displayed using the, the the color being assigned to to layer two okay yeah so uh, layers is a good way to like organize the objects in your scene and also to like uh, turn their visibility on and off so for example let's say I don't want to see the stuff in layer two I can click on the visibility icon to turn off its visibility and this icon is a lock icon so you can lock that whole entire layer so that it's not selectable okay okay i think with that i come to the end of part two see you around bye